This video is sponsored by Adobe. All right, so we are now going to make a button. And this button is going to show and hide some caption information. Now, before we go any further here, I'm just going to show you the finished product. I always like to show you the finished product before we go any further. And I do this in this EPUB interactivity panel. Now, you'll notice that I am going to be clicking these two buttons at the bottom right-hand corner here. These two buttons say, preview me just the one page that I'm on, or preview the entire document. So I'm going to try to do mostly the single page just because it takes less time. I'm also going to be pressing this play button over here on the left-hand side, and that will re-render the page that I have just done. And then you'll see that full photo in the background. And I have a button up here at the top for info where I click on it. The press of the but on the button for info does two things. It shows the caption, and it also shows the X. See that little X up there? All right, so now that I have, I read the caption, and I'm done with it, and I'm ready to close the caption, I am making a third, there's, a, there's three buttons on here. I'm going to click on this little X, and that X is going to do two things. It's going to close the caption and turn back on the Info button. See that? So I'm going to do that again. Clicking on Info turns on two buttons. Actually, it also turns off the Info button. I'm going to click back on the X, turns on the Info, and off the caption. We'll see if I actually say all that correctly, OK? So how do we create this? Let's go ahead back into InDesign and create this. All right, so I have already created here three separate buttons. And I have a, a just simple caption frame. I have a simple thing with an X in it and a simple frame with the word info in it. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the Buttons and Forms panel. I'm going to move this up so I can hopefully be in this magnified view, because there are so many little buttons here. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the Buttons and Forms panel. I'm going to move that over, Buttons and Forms panel. And in the Buttons and Forms panel, this little info, I want to turn it into a button. Now, today, just because there's so much going on, I may not name every single button here perfectly. I very, very strongly suggest that you name all of your buttons exactly what they do, OK? So I will be a little lax on this just because I'm trying to get through a lot of material. But please, please name all of your buttons what they actually do. So I'm going to call this one info. And I'm just going to say to open the caption. So I want to know what it does. You don't have to, but it, for uh, teaching purposes, this really, really helps. OK, so that's the name of the button. I'm going to hit return. Now, I have to give it a job, but unfortunately, there's no other buttons to give it a job to do. So I'm going to go back into this button here, or turn it into a button. I'm going to call this one Close. I'm going to come over to this one, turn it also into a button, and call this one the actual Caption. OK, now I'm ready to tell these buttons what to do. Notice there's a little, uh, little hand thing up there in the right or the bottom corner telling you that this is a button, OK? Every one of these animation uh, buttons and all that has a little uh, thing that visually will tell you what's happening. So I click on Info. I go to the little plus, and I give it an action. And the action is to show or hide a button or form. So I'm going to click on Show and Hide Buttons or Forms. And then down a little bit into this Buttons and Forms panel, you'll see Visibility. Now, there are three buttons because I have made three buttons. And now I have to tell these three buttons what to do. So when I click on Info, I want the Close button. Uh, let me back up. When I click on Info, I want the caption to show. So by simply clicking on these little buttons here, I can, it's, it toggles, toggles between three things, the Open, Close, and the Ignore. The X is ignored. X is not go away. X is ignore. I wish they would be consistent. <laughs> so in this case, X is ignore. So for info, I want it to turn on the caption. So I put the little eyeball right here. I also, when I click on info, I want the close button to also show. But I also, when the info button is pressed, I want the info button to go away. So I'm going to click on that a couple times and get the little slash. OK, so I've told the info button what I want it to do. 
Now I'm going to come over here to the X button, and I'm going to do the same thing. I want to give it an action. I'll say show and hide the buttons and forms. And I'll say, all right, so when I click on X, I want the info to come back. When I click on the X, I want the close button to go away. When I hit on the X, I also want the caption button to go away. So it's very logical. It's very confusing, I know, but it is very kind of logical. You got to think through what it is you want. Okay, so I am going to come, I'm going to zoom back out here. And I'm not quite finished here, but I want to see what I've done. So I'm going to choose to replay this page. And you'll see that all three of these things show up at once. That's not what I want. But when I click on one of these buttons, you can see that things are kind of happening, but ugh, it's not working the way I want it to. So I'll come back in here and I'll say, huh, okay, so when I first go to this page, I don't want to see the X and I don't want to see the caption. So I'm going to click on the X, go back to buttons and forms, and down here at the bottom is a hidden until triggered. So I'm going to say to the X, I'm going to say, hey, you, don't show up until you're triggered. Same thing with the caption, hidden until it's triggered. All right, so now let's see if that did what we're looking for it to do. Great, so I see the photo, I see the word info, I click on the word info, and then it shows the X and it shows the caption. I can read the caption. When I'm finished, I can click on the X and make the info box go away. Cool. Now, I'll go I'll do a little bit of cleanup. I always de develop these when they're uh, next to each other like that, and then I can go in here and put them so that they're on top of one another. I'll hit the preview here again, play that again. There's my info, turn it on and turn it off. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.